This video will review the geologic timeline and the New York State geologic map found in your reference tables. It is, uh, those are two essential tables required to understand uh, chapter 6 here in Earth Science. So first let's look at the geologic timeline. It is the center pages of your reference tables, looks like this. And we're going to take a minute and kind of break it down and then we'll look at some of the details you might need to know. So the timeline is organized with the youngest events here on top and the old events down on the bottom. And the Earth's history is broken down into four major time divisions. We have the Eon, the Era, the Period, and the Epoch, each getting smaller and shorter in time as you go across the so eons. There have been really only two in Earth's history. There are the Eras, where you deal with three eras that we will talk about most commonly. They are right here. Uh, there are two, uh, there are several others here, the late Proterozoic, the middle Proterozoic, early Proterozoic, the early Archaeon. Uh, you may see some other names later for earlier points in, in Earth's history. But for our table, you should really concern yourself with the three here, Cenozoic, Mesozoic, and Paleozoic. Each of those eras is broken down into its periods. So there are three periods here in the Cenozoic. Each period is broken down into two or three epochs. So when you get down to, this, to the scale of an epoch, there's sometimes a few million years, sometimes um, a longer span, maybe 50 million years uh, for an epoch, hundreds of millions of years for periods, uh, and so on. Next column over here is life on Earth. The Life on Earth column is full of very important uh, milestones in Earth's history. The areas that are in the brackets are extra important to pay attention to. Those are times of mass extinctions. So we have, or really major divisions. So here we have down here the first Shelley parts uh, discovered, and that's what separates and really begins the Paleozoic era. In here, after the Permian, we have a mass extinction where a majority of life on Earth went extinct. And up here at the end of the Mesozoic era, we have the extinction of the dinosaurs, another mass extinction on Earth. You should really familiarize yourself with this list, not to memorize it, but just to be able to find things when you need to. Middle column here named Rock Record. If there is something, a shading, the shading here, the shading here, the black bar is below. That is telling you that there is evidence of this period of Earth's history in New York today. So the, the major evidence we have is really the oldest material. So the Devonian, Silurian, or Devotion, Cambrian, those you can find lots of evidence for in New York up in the Adirondack Mountains. There is not a lot of other evidence in New York. A little bit very recent stuff some from the Cretaceous. The, the missing areas, they've been eroded away. That evidence was here. Those time periods existed in New York. Things happened in New York. The, but the rock we find today in New York doesn't have any evidence of it. It's been eroded away. The distribution of fossils column shows you uh, many of these vertical bars. Each vertical bar represents a certain type of organism. The bottom of the bar represents when that organism uh, was first kind of evolved on the planet. The top of the bar represents when that organism went extinct. So aminoids were kind of shelly creatures. You can see an example for letter G, right? They are kind of spiral shells. They uh, kind of first were formed about 400 million years ago. And they went extinct during the end of the Mesozoic era, the same time the dinosaurs did. Right? Mammals, that's us. We kind of evolved into existence somewhere around uh, 180, 200 million years ago. And we are alive and doing well today. Majority of life, uh, the large life on Earth, is mammals. And you can read through the others. Okay? You'll see all the letters A, B, C, A through Z. Those represent the index fossils along the bottom. So if you see, for example, letter D, 
okay, this particular fossil is found over here. That is when this specific species of organism existed. So it's part of the nautiloids family, but D only lived in this time frame at 450 million years ago. F is a similar animal, that it's a nautiloid, but it's a different type of nautiloid. It only lived 300, 400 million years ago. Those two animals never lived together. So this animal came in and went extinct very quickly. This evolved in and went extinct very quickly. The nautiloids is a family of animals carried on. Okay. You should read through this little area up here. It will explain it a little better. So then on the, the last couple columns here, we have geologic events. These are major geologic events. Uh, the word orogeny means mountain building. So there are one, two, three, four major mountain building events in New York's history. So you can read through these, uh, including the intrusion of the Palisades Sill right across the bridge from us, when the Catskills formed, uh, Taconic Mountains, when the Adirondacks and the Hudson Highlands, like Bear Mountain, formed. And if you look at the timeline here, those formed about between 500 and 1.3 billion years ago. So those rocks up there are measured in the billions of years, some of the oldest rocks you can find around. And then the final column here shows where the continents were at each time period. Just pay attention to the little gray arrow showing you exactly where it was. Okay, And we can look at these in all more detail. It's obviously easier to look on your reference chart where it's nice and clear. And that's the big timeline. Here's another way to see and imagine kind of life on Earth evolving. If you look down here at the bottom, Earth formed 4 million, 4 billion, 4.5 billion years ago, and life's kind of spiraling up. This, this represents like a total timeline of the Earth. It's spiraling around and around and around and around. And you can start seeing all the time periods that we've been talking about. And you can start to see some details in the drawings. So when dinosaurs were, were roaming around, when you had fish, and here's some of the older dinosaurs, and volcano eruptions, and 65 million years ago the dinosaurs went extinct, kind of a line in the sand, no dinosaurs after that, and then very, very recently you see the evidence of uh, mankind, of humans, being uh, on the earth. You see the ice ages here, this is all ice, right, and then the ice went melted away about eleven and a half thousand years ago and that leaves us with the planet we have today here's another way to see it as a, as a clock or as a circle where the earth formed here and you read kind of in this direction as the center arrow showing you round and round um, these are the different eras in history so you can see most of the stuff that we study on that big chart happened very recently in Earth's history, only in the last 20%. And this chart has some information that we didn't get into a lot of detail of, but some kind of extra material. Okay, so then we talk about the geologic map of New York. Now we've seen this before when we did latitude and longitude, uh, but now we're going to look at the patterns of rock that are here. And first, we're going to look at the key, and I'm going to tell you that the key is organized from youngest on top to oldest rock on bottom. And that is very helpful when you're comparing different layers. You know right away that the old stuff down here on the bottom and the youngest stuff is uh, rock type is on top. I drew the dotted red line to separate rocks that are sedimentary in age, uh, in origin, from those that are uh, metamorphic in origin. So these five patterns here are all metamorphic, and these six or seven above here are all sedimentary. A majority of New York is sedimentary. The only area you'd find that is metamorphic is up here in the Adirondack Mountains, metamorphic, and a little bit down here in the Hudson Highlands, right? The Taconic Mountains over here. But a majority of New York's uh, landscapes are sedimentary covered. Okay. 
This map also has the city names on it. You should definitely be familiar with where these cities are. You should be able to find Syracuse in a few seconds, not a few minutes. You should know that Old Forge is the, the town they use for anything involving metamorphic rock up in the Adirondacks. Here's where Albany is. Right? And most definitely you should know that we uh, in Elmsword live right here. It's a very big dot, but that's where we live. Okay. Please be mindful also that the top choice of rock material is really unconsolidated, which means it's not even turned into rock. So that Long Island, when we talked about it being a glacial moraine, that's exactly what we're talking about. That it is not solid rock. It's big piles of unsorted sediment. That the, the word they're using is unconsolidated, meaning it's the youngest rock we have in New York. So this little animation is uh, interesting. You can click into it and you can see uh, different areas of New York and the fossils they may have, the types of rocks that are there. Um, very interactive. You can get a sense of what type of rocks you'd find there, if there's any fossils in the area, what those fossils might look like. All right, so this area by Syracuse, Silurian age, right? Here are all the different fossils you'd find, and this is just information pulled out of the reference table chart, right? So, to summarize, Earth is approximately 4.6 billion years old. The history of the Earth is divided up based on the events that happened, not on anything else. Humans have only been around the past 2 million years. And New York is mostly covered in sedimentary rock. So hope the video was helpful, and I will see you in class.